Right, now we're going to start the stalk. I've cut out the resist from using the template. I've also cut out two windows and basted on the silk. And this is really important, place them upside down. I'm now going to, using the white, divide it in two because we need to use some on the other side. And then that I'm going to divide in two again. And I'm going to do the first layer. It's very important that you do this layer from top to bottom. And you go on top of your windows. So I've completed layer one and now I will do layer two going across ways. So I've completed layer two. This is what I've called the window side in your instructions. So I'm now going to get it absolutely saturated and I'm going to put the thin plastic on it, pat it down for about a minute and then I'll turn it over. I've patted it for a minute and now I've turned it upside down and now I'm going to fold in the edges and smooth them down just like we did with the caps. Now I'm going to do layer three. So layer one went in this direction, layer two in that direction just as we've done on the other side. And now layer three will go in the same direction as we did layer one. So I'm just going to cover this with a layer of the oyster. I've now completed the third layer on this side and I've added little bits of the green yarn and I just twist them up and you can just tear them as well and place them on there and we're ready now to put the door in place and you can spend as long as you like over this, it's, it's nice and fun to do and make them any size you like. So, But the important thing I'm going to show you here is putting the door on. So you need to feel where the edge of your resist is and I can feel it's there. And it's important that you put your door a little bit above there. So about a finger, finger width above and then carry on with what you're doing. You've also got some silk fibres that you can put on as well, which give it another texture. And you've got the pink as well. Which you can just tear up and make little flowers with, like that. And also you have got some yarns, some thin yarns in here, and you can cut them up as well. So enjoy yourself doing this bit. I've finished decorating the mushroom and now I'm going to get it um, wet and I'm going to put the thin plastic on top and pat it down for a minute. I've patted it down for a minute and turned it over and now I'm going to fold in the edges and then I will do a third layer using the oyster colour. So I've completed layer three on the window side, so covering up the windows, and I've decorated. I've tried to keep a little bit more within my resist and now I'm going to get it wet, press it down again, turn it over and turn in the sides. I'm now going to massage the edges in and then I will pat down this side for five minutes and then do the one minute in each direction rubbing like we did on the caps. I've patted for five minutes and I've rubbed 
in each direction for a minute and now I'm going to turn it over and repeat that on the window side. I've patted it and rubbed it on both sides now um, and it should feel nice and strong. If yours doesn't, um, just repeat and just be a lot, um, put a lot more pressure on it. And now you can rub on the bubble wrap any which way you like, every size you like and even in your hands like this. We want to just make sure it shrinks a little bit like we did with the cap. Right, now I know that this has shrunk a bit, I can feel that the resist is folded up inside and I'm going to find the windows and I can feel this one here and like we did with the cap, I'm going to pinch it and I'm just going to make a very small cut there and then I should be able to look inside and see the resist inside and then I can now cut around the inside of the resist and I'll do the same with the other window and then rub the edges to seal them. I've cut out the windows now and I'm going to turn it over and rub on the bubble wrap and um, if the resist, the window resists come out that's absolutely fine but don't try and pull them out at this time and then we can also work on shrinking and making the stalk a little bit stronger and then it will we are ready to open the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to open the bottom part of your mushroom. So I've pinched it here, I've made sure that the door's not too close and it could be quite thick there so use sharp scissors and it might take a few attempts at getting in there. So I've opened it up and I can see the resist. I'm going to carry on on both sides. Um, don't go too far, it's important. Leave it a little space here and then we can carry on the other side and then we'll seal it up to get it strong. With the top you can just cut straight across. And then we can take out the resist and rub these edges to seal them. And then very carefully you can unpick the, the tacking that you did earlier on and we should be able to get the windows out. Be very, very gentle with this. So when you're ready, I've just done a little bit more rub, rubbing, I've taken out the resists, window resists, and now I'll rinse it out and put it to dry somewhere. I've dried the cap and the stem overnight and now I'm ready to put the two together. I've turned the cap upside down and opened it up as much as I can. It's possible that you might need to snip it further if it doesn't fit your stalk. I've pinched the stalk and I'm putting it in the middle and I'm pulling up all the spiky bits as high as I can and then I will put a pencil in the middle. I've put a pencil here and I'm now going to turn it over. Keep it supported when you do that. And there's your mushroom ready to be put on an LED light which is not included in the kit. 
Once you've completed your big mushroom, you can then go on to doing your middle sized mushroom and then finally finish with your smallest mushroom. Congratulations on completing your first mushroom. I do hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you would like to make a mushroom kit it's available on my website www.artfelt.co.uk There are also lots of other kits with tutorials on there as well for instance, my puffin kits, where you can make a puffin picture. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.